Hey everybody, I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We are Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We're going to go ahead and go over our daily what solds. Uh, I guess this is for the weekend. Uh, it's been kind of a blur. We've been pretty busy over the past few days, which is why we haven't really put out any what sold videos for the past two or three days. Um, we did just push out a big one hour long video on Kitizen. So if you are interested in Kitizen or selling on it, go ahead and check that video out and you'll learn everything you need to know. We're going to be live tonight with uh, Becky Park on Poshmark. And she's going to be asking us some questions about selling kids clothes on Kitizen. So if you happen to be watching this video before May the 4th tonight, may the 4th be with you, by the way, um, then go ahead and hit us up live on Becky's channel. And we're going to be trying to answer some questions live on there. So um, we're really excited and we can't wait. We're also a little nervous, so we'll see. So Kathy's going to go ahead and take it from here and show you what sold over this weekend. Guys, we'll start with Poshmark today. Uh, just two sales on Poshmark. First up is a pair of uh, Universal Threads, I think it is. Just the Target brand of shoes. I got these at the Plato's Closet, 90% off clearance. So I have $2 into them. I had them listed, I believe, at $20 on Poshmark. I had sent offers on them a few weeks ago, and nobody accepted. But then one of the people that did like them wrote and asked if I could resend the offer, which... I don't think you can resend offers within like 90 days unless you put it in a bundle or I'm really not that good with the technical stuff on Poshmark so I couldn't figure out how to resend the offer so I just dropped the price to 15 for her which actually worked out in my favor because I didn't have to give her that $2 shipping discount so I'm making an extra $2 so she paid $15 for these um, but Poshmark took care of the shipping discount since I dropped my price over 10% and yeah, so we made about $12 on those. Um, next thing is also from the Plato's Closet, 90% off clearance, just a pair of men's Levi's black jeans. Uh, someone offered 15 on those and I accepted. All right, so the next big chunk of sales came from eBay. Uh, first up is just gonna be a pair of denim shorts. Let me find my screenshot. So this is just the brand H&M, these were my son's. I believe we found them at Goodwill to begin with, um, so probably no more than $2 into them. He wore them all last summer, and I sold them for $6.95 plus shipping. Um, next up, these just sold, and thank God they did, because this is one of my oldest items. Um, back, I, I started Poshmark almost two years ago now. I think it was June or July, uh, two summers ago, so... I just like started watching YouTube and got excited about all these people selling adult stuff because at the time I had only sold kids stuff. Um, so I was just picking up anything and everything. I had no idea what to grab. I just thought these shorts would sell, so I just grabbed them. I did pay $4 for them, which was clearly way too much. Um, they've been on Poshmark for a year. I finally got ready, to, got them listed on eBay and Somebody started watching them, and I'm just sick of seeing them, so I offered them $8 plus shipping, and they accepted. So I'm making my $4 back and an extra, like, dollar or two, and I'm so happy to see them go, and I will never, ever, ever pick up Rockin' Republic shorts again. So, live and you learn. Next up, a pair of, pair of Keens Girl Mary Jane shoes. I have $5 into these, and they sold for $20 plus the shipping. $19.95 plus the shipping. All right, next up, this I did pay $4 for, and um, I just listed it yesterday, and it sold the same day. But I feel like I could have got about $20 plus shipping for it, but I found a small hole and then a bunch of unraveling, like, threads around the arm. So someone offered $10, plus they're paying the shipping, so I accepted that just to get my money back as quickly as possible. So if I would have noticed that in the store, I wouldn't have bought it. All right, next up, this is the brand Ronnie Kobo. This is another item I've had in my shop for a very long time. I purchased it because when I found it at the store, I just thought it looked nice, the tag looked nice, and I never heard of it, but when I looked up the brand, I saw it retailed for a ton, which obviously doesn't always mean that it resells for a ton, and in this case, it didn't. Well, it's over $20 plus shipping, so I did get a pretty good profit off of it. I had about $4 into it, so a decent profit, but I probably wouldn't pick it up again just because it took so long to sell. 
All right, next up is a pair of Clark. Um, these are just like gold loafers. Um, so these I had on eBay for $39.95 with free shipping last month. And then they just ended a few days ago. I relisted them for $39.95 plus shipping. And then added the best offer. I probably would have accepted an offer of like $25. Um, but the person just paid full price. So that's awesome. I got $8.50 more than I originally had them for last month. So just something that I've been doing is, you know, changing prices every 30 days. Just trying different things and seeing what happens there. All right, next up, a pair of men's Asics, just like black running shorts. These sold for $14.95 plus the shipping, and I had about $2.99 into those. Um, they did sell super fast. I listed them, they sold the next day. So I would pick those up again. Obviously, it's not a huge profit, but I'm all about selling stuff fast. All right, this is a pair of Doc Martens like chunky sandals. These sold the day after I listed them. I paid $5 for them. They sold for $59.95 plus shipping. All right, next up is a Patagonia. I won't take it out because it was kind of hard to shove in there, but it's just a high loft down bunting. So these retail for $150. So they usually resell about half of that, which this one did. Sold for $74.95 plus the shipping. And this was lightweight, um, like this is under a pound, so I could have shipped this first class, but I decided, you know, if something happened to it, I'd be out that money. So I paid the extra couple bucks just to insure it at least up to $50 with the padded flat rate envelope. So if it goes missing after it gets skinned in the post office or if it gets damaged or anything, um, I'll at least get $50 of coverage with the label. So. Um, I did pay $25 for that, so on certain brands and things that I know sell for a, a good amount, I will pay more money for them up front, so yeah. $25 into $75 is a pretty good flip. Alright, this is a men's Lululemon polo shirt. I listed this a few days ago and it sold like pretty much the next day after I listed it for my list price, which was $34.95 plus the shipping and I had $3.99 into that. Up. A pair of just girls champion slide sandals. I had three dollars into these and they sold for $15.95 plus the shipping. So someone just paid full price, even though I do have best offer on there that they could have offered less. This is the brand Tori Richard. I don't even know why I picked this up, I just kind of liked it. Um I have $4 into it, and it sold for an offer of $16 plus the shipping. So I wouldn't recommend just picking up stuff just because you like it, but that worked out for me. Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, this one sold for a very low amount because, again, it had some stains on it that I didn't notice in the store. You know, sometimes thrift store lighting can be deceiving, so... I had $1.50 into it, and I sold it for $7.95 with free shipping just to get my money back on it. So It is under 8 ounces, so it's shipping for about $3.50. What was the brand on that? Oh, uh, that's Hannah Anderson. So that that is a, a decent brand to look out for. Uh, mostly I just look for the pajamas, the dresses and stuff. I haven't done that well for me. I know a lot of other people do well with them, but... Okay, next up, this is the brand Well Dressed Wolf. Um, so I got super excited when I found this dress. Uh, it's been a while now. It did not sell quickly. Um, I have about $6.50 into it. It sold for $29.95 plus the shipping. I definitely would pick it up again even though it took a while to sell some of these dresses. Um, you know, I don't have girls so I don't understand completely, but like on the buy sell trade board for this brand, some of these dresses can go for hundreds of dollars. The way it works is when there's like drops every few weeks. I don't even know exactly when, but they sell out instantly. So if somebody wants a dress and they didn't get it, they're willing to pay three, four, five times the amount that it retailed for to get it. And people are always wanting to like have sibling matches and stuff. So they're willing to pay up so that they can match all their kids. So this is one of those brands. I never thought I'd find it at a thrift store, but I did find it at my local consignment shop. So was really excited to find it and it it wasn't a super good one that 
obviously anyone was willing to pay a ton of money for, but still made a good profit and definitely would pick it up again. All right, this is the Ran La Amour. I'm not really sure if that's how you say it, but just some boy shoes. Um, these I bought for my son. He never wore them. You can see in the photo they have some scuffs on them. I bought them off Kittism for like $5.70, and I sold them for $14.95 plus shipping on eBay. Um, they do retail quite a bit. I think $50 or $60. They're real leather shoes, so it's a good brand to look out for for kids. Um, if they weren't so scuffed up, I probably could have got about 30 or so for them. All right, next up is just an old navy tank top. Uh, this has been in my shop way too long. And I don't know why, because I sell old navy stuff all the time. And this was probably the cutest thing I feel like I've had in my shop of old navy. But I had $2 into it, and it finally sold for $10.95 with free shipping. So you can see not a huge profit, but happy to see it go. Um, here's another one that took a while to sell. It was just the brand Global Mamas. I think it's like a hand-dyed um, something that somebody made. So when I see stuff with new with tag, I just pick it up just because I figure if it doesn't sell, I'll gift it. You know, we go to, well, currently we don't go to birthday parties all the time, but we were going to lots of birthday parties and, you know, there's always baby showers and stuff happening. So I just pick up new with tag stuff and list it and see what happens. So that took a while to sell. I had $4 into it and it only sold for $14.95 with free shipping. So. All right, so last eBay sale is going to be these Choco Girl sandals. Um, I just listed these a few days ago, and they already sold for full price, $29.95 plus shipping, and I bought these for $2.99. So. All right, next up we'll do Kittizen sales. The first up is a pair of Born clogs. These took forever to sell. Uh, Born, I still pick it up sometimes if I find it, like, for $5 and under, but I... It's not usually a super fast sale. Um, these did sell to a Kittizen Facebook buyer, so they paid full price, which was $35 with free shipping. All right, next up. Ah. Okay, so this is something I bought for my son. He just didn't wear it. I, I don't know why. It didn't really fit him good last year, and then this year I'm just getting rid of stuff, so. Um, this is the same brand as that dress that I was talking about. So when it sells out, you know, people are wanting it. So you can usually get over retail. I think I paid like 30 something for it plus the shipping. So somewhere close to $40. Um, it's been in my shop a while and someone asked if I'd go any lower and I said I'd do 50 because I want to make my money back. Otherwise I'll have them wear it, but she agreed. So she paid $50 with free shipping for it. I made my money back, but that is about it. All right, this is a Matilda Jane Platinum Top. Um, this sold, sorry. This sold for an offer, someone put it in their cart and I offered them $22 and they accepted and I had $2 in that to begin with. All right, a few other kiddism sales I already packaged, but You'll see on the screen this is just a pair of boys like handmade stars and stripe shorts my kids wore them fourth of july one year um they've been listed quite a while someone put them in their car i offered them 12 dollars and they accepted with free shipping so right, this is a pair of kids jungle book disney vans i had them listed for 40. usually i can get about close to between 30 35 to 40 for uh, the disney vans They've been in my shop a couple months now and I only had $5 into them. So someone said, asked if I'd take 25 and I agreed. So 25 with free shipping on those. And then this box you see here is a little people bus, like a toy bus, um, along with a few of the characters. So that sold for $18 with free shipping and the shipping cost $12.50. So that was a bad um, sale on my part. A few months ago, Mercari was doing like a toy thing where if you listed toys and they sold within a certain amount of time, you weren't getting charged a fee on it. So I listed a whole bunch of little people. Many of them sold, and which was nice because they did sell on Mercari and I didn't have a fee. But 
since I cross post everything, I cross posted these, this toy to kiddos in without really paying attention in my head that it's going to cost a lot for shipping. So they paid $18 with free shipping and I paid $12.50 out of that for the label. So I made like $4, which is still fine because I, it came from a garage sale to begin with and my kids weren't playing with it and we're not having consignment sales right now. And even if we were, I probably would have only made like $5 at one of those. So happy to see that go and just make sure you weigh your stuff before you list it and know how much you're going to have to pay to ship it. All right. So the last few sales are going to be from Mercari. Um, this is just a Patagonia jacket. I purchased this off Kittizen a couple weeks ago. Someone had it for a really good price, $24. And I know they usually sell around 50. So I had some referral kid bucks. So when you guys join with my code, I get those, which can only be spent in the app. It's not like real cash. So sometimes I'll just buy something to resell so that way I can have real cash. So that's what I did here. Paid 24, listed it on Mercari for like 59. Someone offered 44, so I accepted that. So I made about $40 on it, minus, you know, the $24, the 24 fake dollars I spent on it to begin with. So I made about $40 real cash on that. All right, next up, this is just like a stitch, a Disney t shirt. Has a front and back graphic, and I had this listed for like 25 plus shipping. Someone offered 18 plus shipping, so I accepted that. I only had two dollars into it. Okay, and very last thing that sold was a Quicksilver one piece rash guard. This was my son's. I can't remember what I got it for. I, I know I bought it off Kitizen, but I think I paid 10 or 12 to begin with. Someone offered 12 plus the shipping, and I accepted that, so made most of my money back on that. So yeah, we had a pretty good weekend, some high dollar sales and also some really low dollar sales, but getting stuff cleared out is making me very happy. So. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today. We're going to go ahead and package these up and take them off to the post office, and that'll be it for today. So I want to thank you all for watching. Um, I forgot to mention this in the beginning, so I'm going to say it here. I might try to splice it in the beginning, but we're going to be live tonight with uh, Becky Park on Poshmark. And she's going to be asking us some questions about selling kids' clothes on Kitizen. So if you happen to be watching this video before May the 4th tonight, May the 4th be with you, by the way, um, then go ahead and hit us up live on Becky's channel, and we're going to be trying to answer some questions live on there. So um, we're really excited, and we can't wait. We're also a little nervous, so we'll see. But that's going to do it for us for today. We're going to pack them up and get out of here. So we'll see you guys tomorrow with another What's Old video. Bye, guys.